Social media has a significant impact on a person's mental health, with both positive and negative effects. Come on this journey with me, as we explore some very important facts to consider. Studies have shown, that excessive use of social media, can be linked to an increased risk of depression and anxiety. This is often attributed to the constant comparison with others, exposure to idealized versions of other people's lives, and the pressure to maintain a certain image. Wendy. What are we doing at the store again? This is your third trip this week. I know. But I saw Abby and Gail with the latest Gucci design pocketbook and sandals, and I must get them, so that I can keep up appearances. I need to maintain my sleigh girl lifestyle. People will laugh at me, if I do not meet up. Not again Hope. When are you going to stop this? Can't you see that social media is destroying your sense of reasoning? No, I do not agree. I cannot live, sleep or eat without social media. So if you buy these things now, how will you cover your half of the rent and other utilities? Remember that I covered your portion last month. I remember Wendy. But I must get these items, because I need to post my new pics on Instagram and Facebook. Hope. You are unbelievable. These are clear signs of depression and anxiety. Wendy. You do not understand. I must keep up appearances, especially at work and around my society friends. But how do you know that what they are telling you is the truth? It is possible that they are giving a false impression of their lives. I do not think so, and what you are doing will not change my mind. Hulk, please remember our devotion before we go to bed. I can't tonight, Wendy. I haven't gotten much likes and comments on the last video that I uploaded, so I am going to try and do a better one before I go to bed. Goodness Hope. This is becoming too much now, every aspect of your life is being affected because of social media. That is not true. But I must repair my image, before I sleep or pray. Besides, I saw several comments which said that I was fat and my outfit did not match. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? And that is why we need to pray hope. I am losing you, and you need professional help. You have become isolated, and you are being bullied online. From what I see, the more you post, it is the worse the comments get. I have to do this. Have devotion without me, and please pray for me. As you can see, Hope is slowly becoming isolated, and she often gets mean messages from random people. It is a fact, that while social media is allowing her to connect with individuals across the world, her habit is becoming destructive. She has disconnected herself from the people around her, and is more interested in pleasing her online family. The unfavorable comments have damaged her self-esteem, and she no longer thinks highly of herself. Gosh! I need to respond to this message. Hope. What are you doing? Replying to a message. Didn't you see that car? This is the height of it. Pull over and let me drive. At this rate, you are going to get us killed. Hope, I think it is time for us to take this relationship to another level. What are you doing? Are you sending messages in my presence? No, I was just responding quickly to a comment on Facebook. Can we take a selfie? I would like to show you off to the world. Of course not. Everyone does not need to know what goes on in my private life. Besides, I am not into social media like you are. Don't you think your behavior towards social media is becoming toxic? It is like nothing else matters to you except posting and wasting precious time. I am sorry. It will not happen again. Great. Let us go and eat. What would you like to order? Hope. 
I'm sorry. What did you say? You know what? I am done. I have been trying so hard to tolerate this obsession, but guess what? I cannot compete with social media. It is over between us, and do not come looking for me. I am sorry, but I cannot seem to control the urge to be on social media. I came here with the intention to propose to you tonight, but you are not ready for marriage. I cannot marry someone as fickle as this. Social media is your god, and that is not what I want for myself. Bye. What have I done? Isaiah. I am sorry. Is that Hope? When did she come in? Goodness. I need to go and check on her. That sounds very serious. I am such a fool. I allowed social media to destroy my lovely relationship of two years. I wasn't always like this, but I saw how my co-workers and friends flaunted themselves on the web. And I wanted some of that fame and popularity. But all I received was heartbreak, insults, and trolls. My self-esteem is so badly bruised, and I am now struggling with one eating disorder or another. Initially, when I started, it was all good. I could control myself, but I had no idea when things got this bad. Because of social media, I ignore the real things of life, the my make-believe world. <laughs> what is it? I heard you sobbing uncontrollably. Why? Isaiah left me. Oh no hope. I should have listened to you. I need help Wendy. Isaiah said social media is my god, and he cannot compete with it. He said I am immature and not ready for marriage. He said this habit has eaten too deep into my system, and he cannot marry me like this. He said he never wants to see me again. He has tried with me Wendy. He gave me so many chances, but I refused to curb my actions. Instead, things got worse. He was going to propose tonight. <laughs> yes. I cannot explain it, but I just couldn't control my actions. And I haven't been able to come up with the rent. As we speak, I am broke. I even took money from my office to support my fake lifestyle. Once they find out, I may go to jail, because I do not have the money to repay. Gosh Hope. But I warned you. I told you that social media was going to be your downfall. Please help me Wendy. I am ready to change, my world is crashing down on me. The bad part is that there is so much of my personal information out there on the world wide web. And it scares me. Social media never forgets, and I'm afraid that one day, all that I'd have posted will come back to haunt me. We will start first thing tomorrow morning. And for now, do not worry about the rent. Plus I have a little savings. I will lend it to you, so that you can start replacing the money you took from your office. Also those friends are not good for you. But, this is your last chance. If this repeats itself, I will leave too. I am ready to get help. Social media has its pros and cons, and, it requires self-control and maturity. It is designed to be addictive so one must be careful at all times. The constant notifications, likes and new content, can create a dependency that leads to compulsive use, isolation and broken relationships.